Hi, so, uh, I'm back. I'm sorry for being so silent in, like, the past almost a month at this point. But, um, ever since the New Year's thing, I've been pretty drained, considering I didn't even keep up for the entirety of the New Year's thing, which I also apologized for that. But, I have finally gotten the willpower to edit a video again. Woo. Pause for me. But, uh, yeah. It's the interview that... I did a link, which, before you click off, it is not the same exact one as the one they did. It is a completely separate interview that you have not seen before. This is one that has not left my computer files until today. So, hopefully you enjoy. It's like, I want to say like 20, 15 minutes, something around that. Not 20, 15. It's around 15 to 20 minutes long. And uh, it's just... Ask asking questions back and forth, questions that didn't show up in their video, hopefully. There might be one or two that crossed over, but overall, I think it was a pretty fun time. You also get to see me playing my own game, which I didn't use all the strategies I know are effective, because I didn't want to feel like I was just cheating. But yeah, hope you enjoy. I'll see you guys on the outro. Hi, welcome to my game. Uh, say hi, Link. Hello. I will link their channel in the description. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, uh, as I probably already said, I'm going to be playing my game while we ask questions back and forth. Like, they'll ask me something, I'll answer it, I'll ask them something, they'll answer it. And yeah, it'll just be a whole thing. Yep. I'll only be doing nights one and two in this video, so it's going to be a relatively short video, but it's fine. I mean... Okay, so... Uh... I actually don't know if I should ask the same questions, but... Are, are you... Is this a project you're proud of? Say that. Ah, uh, Actually, yeah. Because... 31 views. That's not yeah. terrible. It's actually yeah, yeah. probably I'm... one of the best ones I made then. I, I throwing in my personal opinion, I think I think it is a pretty good game. Yeah, it's the first kind of like I guess point and click esque game I've made. Mm hmm But I still think it's pretty good, all things considered. Yep. Oh, moved. Uh <laughs> okay, now you go ask me a question. Um what made you want to start uploading on YouTube? Well, I started uh, uploading on YouTube because when I was a kid, I like I remember as a kid, I went up to my dad and he was on his like computer and he, he showed me like this whole like cool thing and I was like, what's that app or whatever? And he was like, oh, that's YouTube. And there my mind was blown away, <laughs> I guess. And I went on YouTube, and I, I could just look at any video I wanted. And I looked at Minecraft videos, and I looked at, like, like, um... And I found, like, Eyes Cupquake, and I found Dan TDM, and... And I loved video games at the time, and I still do, and I still do. And I was, like, uploading videos? Like, up, like video games? And people watch them? They watch you play? Like, that sounds so cool. And so I wanted to do the same thing that they did. I was like, I'm going to be a YouTuber when I grow up. And I've kept that dream ever since. And I did start uploading as a kid, mostly just kind of like vlogs. And I tried to do some comic skits that was failed miserably. <laughs> um, I went through like a gotcha phase, hoping I could maybe make a gotcha channel. It didn't work out. Um, and then I'm going to see if I can try and direct my channel into a, instead of art kind of thing, just more into a video game section but I mean I was really just inspired by other YouTubers so that's why I started yeah. uploading that's so, why uh, how you doing uh, uh, I'm just on the game I mean, he's over here oh epic so question for you hmm hmm what is the hardest project you worked on um that would actually have to be the project that I ended up having to cancel because it was too big for scratch. So, 
I originally made a cha uh, not channel. I originally made a profile on Scratch named Beat the Devs after a game that me and a person I had seen in or had met in middle school talked about like, oh, you know, what if we made a game? And, you know, we sketched up a bunch of design for weapons. I converted a lot of them to pixel art, which I might put some of those on screen now. But it was a really big project. There was going to be, like, multiple dimensions. I'm not going to give away too much of it because of the fact that I still want to make it at some point in time. But the biggest downfall of it was, funnily enough, the character creation system. Because... Mm -hmm. I was going to do something that I had never seen on Scratch before, for what I realize now is good reason. Where I was going to make it so you can make a fully customized character. You could change the hair color, skin color, you could change the, like, clothing. And as I was coding in the skin color, or not the skin color, the hair color, it crashed. Like, one day I stopped working on it, was like, oh, yeah, you know, that's a good amount of work for today. Let's shut it down. Then I tried to go on it the next day, and it literally wouldn't load. Ooh. So for like a good month or so, I had completely lost all of the sprites I had put effort in in that game. Mm. To just, you know, it crashed. Couldn't get them until I had my brother log on and his, like, you know, high-powered computer and delete all the code from it so that I could access it. And yeah. All right. So you said you're gonna make that again. Are you planning? I know this is another question, but you might you might have to counteract with it with two questions for me. But are you planning? So you said you wanted to like retry making that game again. Is it going to be on Scratch, or are you gonna see if you can try and do something, use something else? I'm trying to figure out how Unity works, so I could see if I can make it on there. Mm. Because that has a lot more processing power and if I can make it on there, I could even make it like 3D in some way. Yeah, yeah. That'll be epic. Yeah. I'll wait the day. <laughs> Alright. Now what are your questions for me? Uh have you ever played any other games on Scratch? I have mostly from my classmates' games and just kind of me scrolling around. I can't exactly remember what games I played. I know I played some of your games, obviously, not just oh, Five Nights at Blobby's. <laughs> but um, I don't. I don't know. I I can't remember the games I played. It was honestly like in like eighth grade or freshman year that I was like on Scratch and just like messing around, but. I mean, I've made games of my own, but I, I don't know if I've ever played them. Yeah. Uh, I guess for my second question to counteract your two, um... Hmm. Huh. Who do you think on YouTube has most inspired you for the channel you currently have? Uh, I guess it's Cupquick. She was... Like, one of the- on her Minecraft Oasis, uh, series that was going on when I was a kid, and I watched it, and I absolutely loved everything about it. Like, her whole, like, aesthetic, and just playing Minecraft, and chilling, and just building, and playing with all these, like, magical mods just seemed so- I don't know what it was, it's just- I loved it, everything about it, I wanted to be just like her. <laughs> um, and obviously I gotta build my own kind of brand, kind of, eh, you know, not brand, but you know what I mean. But, uh, she's, she's the one that's inspired me most. Dan TDM was probably the second, you know, second inspiring YouTuber, but Ice Cup Week was the first. And Terabyte Games. Terab I miss Terabyte Games. But, yeah, that's my answer, Ice Cup Week. Yeah. That's... Yeah. Okay, and so scratch about this one. I want to say something about the characters. Maybe. Hmm. So I know you had these characters before. Are you planning on using these characters again in maybe a future game? Maybe not in a finished future game, 
and if it is a finished game, they will not look the same as they do here. Mm. So, uh, if either of us manage to reach the end of the game during any of our interviews, uh, I will explain a bit of lore behind why the characters look like this. Because okay. I'm not going to give it away now, but I will give away one piece of information. In the lore of the Five Nights at Blobby's universe, they do not look like this. Oh, okay. In fact, the environment doesn't look this get downscaled in the actual universe. I mean, yeah. Alrighty. Also, am I allowed to give away one fun fact about the making of this game? Yeah, sure. So, this static that you see on the screen and, like, on the start screen, that and here, this is actually directly taken from FNAF. This is the static from FNAF 1. Oh, okay. I was wondering how you kind of got it to be static. I don't know. I thought it was like... Yeah, and then also the music in the menu is also from FNAF 1. Yeah. That's... That's kind of obvious. Hello? Great. So, uh, now your turn. Um... I guess just describe your adventures on Scratch up to this point. Alright. So, I remember, uh, I remember as a kid, I had a friend who was older than me, and he, in the middle school he was in, he ate, there's like this coding class, and you could go to, and, uh, just, you know, they went on Scratch, and they just coded things, learned how to basic code. You know, I, I don't know about viewers know in this site but there's like a coding website it basically took like popular games and then you get to like do building blocks of coding yeah, like i think I there's like a called. minecraft one yeah there's a minecraft one that was my favorite yeah um, obviously <laughs> but um I, I and i was like i like coding that seems so fun i had a fun time doing that i'm gonna have a fun time doing this it was not a fun time uh eighth, like i think it was like sixth grade or seventh grade like, I don't even know when. I completely erased it from my memory. But I know I had a pretty nerdy teacher. Um, and he didn't do anything bad. But I was really, really scared about people's opinions. And especially his opinion on my game. Because I, I kind of, like, idolized him. But um, I remember <laughs> one memory I know. I, I made a bunch of games. They never worked. I completely failed that class. But um, I remember one game. We had to do, like... We had to pick a game genre, and we had to make a little demo of the game, and that was like a final project type thing. And I was going to make a dress-up game, because I was like, it's probably the simplest, you know, and I also like designing outfits and art, so, you know, I was going to choose that. Now, for the model, she... I don't know why I was like, I didn't put anything on her. She just had... it was just a base line art body with nothing on i like there wasn't there was no detail it was just it's like fine art with color in it but i was like you know what as long as my game doesn't glitch she should be okay she should be always covered and so like and i also just didn't want anything from underneath like if i had like a white t-shirt on didn't want that showing but i my game i show I was showing it to my game i was showing my game to him and it was like privately because i was kind of insecure again because we we're supposed to show it like pub like in front of everyone but i did it just like i was like please i don't want anyone to see and he was like that's fine and so i showed it to him and it glitched and the model was shown and it and i was so embarrassed i still cringe to this day i wish i could retake the class because i would i would do better i but i uh, I failed it, and I just gave up on everything. I was like, nope, never again. But, I mean, after that, I didn't really touch Scratch because of that moment. The only time I ever went back on it was, like, in 8th grade or freshman year, and I was just playing around some games. I <laughs> recovered, but... <laughs> I mean, hey, if you ever want to hop back into it, I'm fully willing to teach you. I was gonna look at some videos, but yeah, yeah. 
I can be the best hand on, hands-on teacher you'll ever have. <laughs> um, so... Also, you game. are allowed to ask me questions outside of Scratch now. Oh yeah, sweet. Uh-oh. Screw you. Um... Hmm. Oh, oh wait, whoops. I must leave, kind of. Alright, let me ask a question. Let me say... What about your channel? What... What made you want to start recording and publishing videos? Well, it started out the way that I'm pretty sure every single channel starts. With, I saw like, YouTubers online, they were just recording games as their job. They had that as their full-time job, and I understood almost immediately that that was like, basically unreachable. That I'd have to be very lucky in order to have that happen to me. But I was still like, you know what, I, I think it'd be fun if I could, like, record my content and possibly have people out there watch it and enjoy it. And, you know, maybe at some point I could have a larger following, have more people see it, have that. Just more people than just my friends be able to see what I'm doing on a daily basis. Maybe not daily, but on a somewhat annual basis. And they're still not here, so I gotta say more things to make up for the time. Uh, it was also just mainly inspiration from, like, YouTubers like DanTDM, Jacksepticeye, Markiplier, PewDiePie, all the big ones that everyone knows about. It was just seeing their content was, like, a wake-up call. Like, hey, I like playing games. They like playing games. I like watching them play games. People might like watching me play games. And, yeah. You're fine. Okay. I was trying to fill in as much as I can. <laughs> Yeah, I was muted. Um, I might have to stay muted a little bit longer. But, um, let me ask another question. Or, do you want to ask me a question? Or If you're going to be muted again, you should probably just ask me another question. Okay. Um, how are you doing so far? I have not been able... I, I know you gave me the option to look, but I just have not been looking. Yeah, they're at these positions. Well, he's oh, down you're here. You're so good at the game. You're not as scared as I was. Again, it helps that I made this, so I had to, like, watch those jump scares to make sure they worked. A fun fact, though, I was playing it once in front of, like, other people, or, like, in class or something, because I was trying to, like, check out my own progress, and I wasn't paying attention, I got jump scared, and it genuinely scared me. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> so, um, how long have you been making, uh, Scratch games? Like, any, like, time period, or maybe pause Didn't for a second? did you already ask longer. me that? I don't know, I think on I asked channel? you. Yeah, you asked me on your channel. Shush! No, I didn't ask you, no. Uh, first try, um, hold on, hold on, I got this. I can edit uh, this out, don't worry. <laughs> no, you don't have to. But, um... Yeah, no, I've got nothing. Um, how about you ask me a question? I can answer something. Okay, um... What do you think is your favorite video on YouTube that you ever uploaded? <sighs> um, I was going to say my favorite video uploaded was, um, my most popular one, but my most popular one is... <laughs> <laughs> is Among Us ship art, so, uh, I actually, I know I have one, I, I can't remember, you know what, I know what it is, my favorite video is a gotcha video, and it's called a change of heart, now, it is very cringy, very bad, but it is my favorite video, because it is inspired my entire 
entire story stories so I feel like just without me wanting to fight or something like I, it was originally just me and my friends fighting okay girl don't worry. Okay, well, uh, I think they're muted again. Yes. Okay, well, uh, either way, that is night two, and unless yeah. they want me to move on to night three immediately. No. <laughs> uh, we'll just pause here and wait till, I don't know if this is just one episode, but you know what, we'll just wait till you, the next time you play, till the next, the next interview with actual questions I've written down. <laughs> Okie dokie. Well, uh, my channel, I'll probably do a voiceover out here right here. So, uh, bye bye Hi, I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I know it may have seemed a bit long and drawn out, and some parts I may have not edited fully, but it's also kind of hard to edit an interview down, because a lot of the stuff, if I do it, edit it down, one, it'd be like a five-minute video, which I don't want. And two, it'd be editing out some information, which I feel like is unfair, because information we wanted to share with you, and information that I feel like you guys would be robbed of. But, another thing I want to talk about is the future of the channel. I am still going to be uploading, I'm planning to try to do one upload a week. I can't fully say that I'll be able to do that, like, 100%, but I'm going to try my best. And... For instance, I have some other videos from the 12 Days of New Year's thing to upload. For instance, this was recorded while that was still going on. It was intended to be my Christmas upload, like alongside the premiere, but I didn't I didn't have the spirit to edit it at that time. I had been spending so much time on YouTube, felt like I hadn't been spending enough time with family. So the other thing is the live streams. I already mentioned this in the community post a while ago, but there were some technical difficulties with them, so I still need to edit them down, but the reason I haven't done that yet is because they are like three hours or more of footage that I gotta sift through, and I'm planning on also making like a recap video before I just upload the VODs, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and... One other thing, actually, before I do my outro fully. Um, I have a new video coming soon on a game called Project Zomboid, because Moon Spirit, one of my very good friends, he decided to buy me Project Zomboid when I wasn't even home. So, before I was even at my computer to be able to, like, play it, he just texted me, he was like, hey, how much do you want Project Zomboid? And yeah, he just bought it for me. So there is a video of that that should also be coming out somewhat soon. I don't know what order these videos are coming out in, because I'm most likely not going to edit them in the chronolo chronological order that I, you know, recorded them. But hopefully something will be coming soon. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll talk to you next time. See you later.